Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can code the ban command for a Discord.js version 14 prefix bot. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so honestly, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're just going to go ahead and create a command. I would recommend using comments, but uh, that's optional. I'm just going to call it ban command. That way I know what command it is. We can do if command equals 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 ban. Uh, and before we continue, just uh, make sure you guys have... Watch my previous video uh, if you're going to use this uh, command handler. The previous video will have everything you need to know. So, yeah. Alright, so now we can open this up. We can do const member equals message dot mentions dot members dot first. Uh, so this is pretty long, but just bear with me. We can do the two pipes. We can do message dot guild dot members dot cash dot git argument. Uh, in here we can do zero. Um, we need two more pipes. We can do message dot guild dot members dot cash dot find x arrow function x dot x dot user dot username dot two lower case uh, just like that. Um, and then right here we can do arrow or equals equals equals. We can do argument dot slice zero. We can do dot join. Uh, open. Oops. We can do an open string here and right here. Outside of that, or uh, yeah, the quotation mark, you can do a space, two more pipes, x dot user dot username equals 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 argument zero. And then we can add a semicolon there. That is pretty long, um, so make sure you do control save. Quick pause, I just want to say that if you haven't already, please add SQ to your server. Um, or servers. It's a really good Discord bot. Uh, has everything you need, and uh, it's verified, but we're still trying to grow, so... Add it up, please, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right back into it. So now we can go ahead and actually define some uh, permissions we want to use here. So we can do if uh, mess exclamation mark message dot member dot permissions dot has permissions bit field dot flags dot ban members return message dot channel channel dot send you don't have permission to ban people in this server just like that make sure you guys add semicolons uh, so basically what this is saying is the exclamation mark means not so this is saying if not if you don't have the ban members permission then it will return and send this message so very simple we can do that again here or not really but we can do um, if message dot member equals 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 member we can return and say message dot channel send. You cannot ban yourself. So this one is also pretty straightforward. It's just saying that um, if the member you're or the person you're trying to ban equals yourself, pretty much, then it's gonna come back with this error message. So then we can do if member dot kickable exclamation mark member dot kickable. We can do return message dot channel dot send you cannot ban this person person um so what this is saying is if the member has roles above the bot or you then this message will send so basically what kickable means is can the bot or yourself kick this member from the server and if it returns back false then it will of course send that message so we can do if argument zero return message dot channel dot send you must specify someone in to ban in this command again um these messages are optional or you can pretty much customize them to say whatever you want uh, this is just pretty generic what i like to do so we can do let reason equals argument dot slice one dot join we can do a string here and we can do two uh two pipes then we can do no reason given, just like that. Um, and then down here, we can actually make two embeds. So the first one we're going to make is the message that gets sent within the channel. And then, of course, the second embed is going to be the message that sends in the person's DMs. And let me just change this. I spelled it wrong. All right. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder so this is a little bit different in version 14 um so i mean everything else is pretty much the same it's just a different name set color 
blue. You don't have to capitalize that anymore, which is kind of nice. Set description. Uh, we can do white check mark, just like the Discord emoji. We can do um, member dot user dot tag has been banned. We can bold that. And then we can do one pipe and we can put in our reason right here. Um, and then we can do another one down here. We can do const dm embed equals new embed builder. And we can do set color blue. Um, we can go down here and we can do set description. And we can say white, white check mark. You were banned from message.guild.name and then we can do one pipe and we can do reason just like that. So our embeds are done. So here's the thing. So we can't actually ban the person before we send the DM message. Otherwise, the bot would not share any servers with the person you're trying to send the message to, meaning that the message would fail and you would just get a console error. Um, and if you didn't set it up properly, your bot would just crash. So we're going to actually have to send the message first, which can be a little bit of a problem because if the ban fails, then the message will send, but the user won't actually be banned. However, uh, we did do a good job up here, um, checking a bunch of different things. So basically what I'm saying is, um, because of these if statements, uh, this will not be a problem. So we can do member that send, uh, we can do... I can open this up, embeds, um, and then we can do dm embed, and we can do catch error, arrow function, and open this up, and in here we're going to do console.log, um, we can put in member.user.tag, um, has their dms off and cannot receive the ban message. All right. And that is all we have to do here. So we are going to have to console log that because let's say they do have their DMs off or they have the bot blocked for some reason. Um, then what's going to happen is the bot is going to crash because it can't send them the message. But if we log it, of course, then the bot cannot crash. So we can do um, the ban now. So we can do member.ban. It is really that simple. But again, we're going to catch an error here. Catch error. Error function. Message.channel.send. There was an error banning this member. Now, here's the thing. We actually do want to send this error message in the channel because we need to make sure the user knows that the person was not actually banned. But again, this message is probably not going to send because of our if statement. So, um, yeah. Anyways, now we can actually go ahead and send that embed. So, we can do message.channel.send embeds embed. And... After we add our semicolon there, we are actually done with the ban command. So let's go ahead and restart our bot and test this out. All right, so I did get a little error message here. I forgot to do one little thing. So right under the um, permissions check, we're going to do if um, no member. So if exclamation mark member return message dot channel ascend, you must specify someone in this command. Just like that. And we can actually go ahead and delete this right here. We put that in the wrong order. So now we can go ahead and restart our bot and actually test this out. All right, so let's go ahead and run the prefix ban just like that. And it will say you must specify someone in this command. Before, like you see here, we had it down here, meaning um, it, it checked for a member, but it couldn't find one. And it basically couldn't determine if they were kickable or not. So just make sure you have the code in the right order. Um, but yeah, let's just start by trying to ban myself. So ban Jackson or Miss Jackson or whatever it says you cannot ban yourself So that is perfect. Uh, I don't want to be able to ban myself. Let's try giving a bot um, perms over Wait, I think it already does have perms. Yeah, let's just try banning ZFT moderation ban ZFT moderation and it says you cannot ban this person because they are above me or well not above me, but they are above the bot so, just keep that in mind. Now, let's go ahead and do ban my alt. All right, so let's go ahead and ban my alt. Let's just give it a reason. Um, breaking rule number one. I don't know. It will say, uh, I have been banned from the server for breaking rule number one. 
Uh, this message is 100% customizable. I just think this looks the best. It's what I use for SK and all my other bots. So that's how you code the ban command um, in Discord.js version 14. Um, if you have any issues, I do have a coding help server here. Um, that's actually pretty active. We have a lot of good, a lot of good people in here. Um, the help channels are active as well. We can get you some help pretty quickly. Um, so again, if it, if something goes wrong, the command doesn't work, or you have an error and you don't know how to fix it, because I'm assuming you're new to coding if you're watching this video, or you just have no idea how to do this, which I completely understand, just join the Discord server and we'll help you out. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.